hello friends so welcome back once again so in this video I'm going to show you how to display ALB table data as a pop-up screen in some scenario uh, you will have to show the, all the ALB table data as a pop-up screen so how you can achieve this functionality so in this video I'm going to to tell you how you can do this particular things okay first starting with the video if uh, if you didn't subscribe to my channel then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the my upcoming videos so friends let's start uh, so first of all I will show you what I'm talking about right so you are thinking well, how what do you mean by LV data as a pop-up screen okay so I have created one demo program in that program I will uh, I will directly execute and I will show you how uh, what what the thing I'm talking about okay, this is the demo program uh, see if I will execute good so see you can see this is the pop-up ALV okay so how you can achieve this functionality uh, so let's start the writing the code about the same so that like you will also get the, some idea you can use this technique not only to display ALV data uh, but also you can use this uh, technique to display any kind of the pop-up message to the user okay so how you can achieve this functionality okay uh, let's go back to the program okay so and you see 38 I will edit the same program okay so we'll get the brief idea about the same so let me comment this part uh, everything okay uh, we'll just show you from the beginning okay so so what we are we're now so now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, we are going to display ALV data on the pop-up screen okay for that purpose we need to internal table okay so first thing is that like we need to define the uh, LV, we need to define the internal table okay so for that we need to define the structure and assign the structure to the table okay As, uh, and so from the structure we need to define as the internal table okay so let's start uh, we'll write the types uh, begin of ty output I will take any four field name type cat n name address type cat n here also then phone type cat n and then fourth field I will use as a what email okay type cat 30 okay and end of ty output okay so now what we have done is uh, we have just uh, defined one structure okay? we have defined just structure okay so, okay so uh, this is for the internal table okay and suppose you have a case uh, for that in that case you just need to display uh, one row with the pop-up message okay so in that case what do you require you need uh, you require here like uh, flag whether it's a uh, either is uh, a light uh, uh, so not a flag it's a, a light whether it's a green yellow or red or then you here you have a message number and here you can define the message ID and here you can define the message description okay so for that purpose also you are for the displaying the message for so also you can use the same technique okay so let's start uh, now I will define one internal table data LT output type standard table of ty output okay then I will define the structure ls uh, in order to assign the table type ty output okay so now what I have what I have done I have just defined the internal table okay so now uh, I just need to define the field catalog as well okay in order to display this data in order to display this data in the ALV okay so for that like I am defining one field catalog field What I will do, SLIS. What I will do, type SLIS fill cat LV. Okay. And LT fill type type SLIS type standard develop SLIS fill cat underscore LV. Okay. 
now what we will do we will just activate this structure okay okay so now what we have done is uh, like we have just uh, we have just uh, defined one internet table and we have just defined a field catalog okay so now first thing we need to create the field catalog uh, field catalog creation okay so for that we got log we just need ls okay wait uh, <sighs> Um, this part I will copy. I will just copy and paste because I don't, don't want to make the video lengthy. Okay, so here I will just uncomment it. Sorry. Okay. So here you can see that ls field catalog and position column position one then field name as a name uh, you have to give that as the exact name uh, for whatever you have defined in the structures okay either name then uh, names name address and you have to give uh, you have to write the name as a, in a boy in a capital letter okay type then as a, uh, column text as a name then output then put second position second column address okay so for the all the th all the fourth uh, value whatever you have in the in the in this uh, particular in this particular type okay so after that what we uh, what i will do is uh, i will just just uh, assign some data in this uh, internal table okay so for that purpose uh, again i will copy and paste this code in order to reduce the video length mm, create Internal table data okay okay so here I have copy and pasted this code okay so in the uh, CLS uh, in the structure output name as uh, assign this name address phone number an email for the I have you can you uh, you can for your practice purpose you can assign any record for the one to ten what we have done is like we have just created the field catalog and we have just defined we have just collect the information in the internet table okay so now what next what the now next step is to uh, to display uh, all the data as a pop-up screen okay for that what you need you just need to call one function model okay so there is one function module uh, so let's uh, go to the pretty uh, sorry pretty printer once and just uh, align to make the alignment also. okay so now okay now click on this pattern and here you need to type reuse alv pop-up reuse alv pop-up to select to select okay this is the function module which will help us to display that all the alv data on the pop-up screen okay so you can see here there are the different different parameters okay so the mandatory parameter tables uh, here at table and I put data okay so we are going to uh, we are going to see what are the parameter we, are, what we actually needed for this purpose okay the first point you can see as a title okay so what the title that means like so we just need to assign the title over here uh, title means it will display in the LV screen okay so I'm doing LV pop up screen okay then I selection okay i selection okay the next parameter is isolation we don't need this parameter so that uh, we will just remove this one okay and i allow no selection okay we will pass this pass here as a okay we need this parameter so we will uncomment it sorry okay and we will pass here as a x okay so what is the purpose of this particular parameter i will show i will show you while we are just uh, we will test this function we will test this program okay and zebra this this part we don't need so we will just removing okay now the ice cream uh, column start okay so here uh, okay so now this four parameter we uh, we require so i will just uncomment this four parameter okay after that uh, you see here as i am putting 10 and li then line okay 5 uh, okay here i will put as a 100 and end line i will put as a 10 again okay so you uh, you are thinking what i am writing uh, why, why why have you used a 5 10 500 and 10 okay so when we will actually uh, we actually test this particular program that time i will uh, we will play around this uh, we will play around this uh, this fourth uh, four input parameter which is the start column line okay so you will uh, you will understand quickly for that like uh, 
this three parameter we uh, don't require so we are just deleting this three okay okay table name now here table name as we have to pass the table name what we have the table name as a lt output okay so you just need to pass this as a in inverted comma lt output okay after that you can see the structure okay this no we don't need okay after that we have a field catalog okay so we need we that so we are just on commenting field catalog and what is the name of our field catalog is a lt field catalog okay so right we are we will pass this lt field over here okay okay now next what excluding that don't need a cover uh, private this also need. so we are skipping this parameter okay after that you can see importing this both are the optional so we don't need so we are just uh, removing this two parameter lt output okay so now here is the actual table data we need to pass so the name of the our table is lt output so we are just uh, putting uh, we are just appending our table data over here and here to exception uh, so we will uncomment this exception okay okay so now uh, here i will write one comment also Ta. display okay so now we will put the pretty printer check and activate okay now we are going to test this program and we will we will activate, activate and if i will execute okay so now you can see the all the data whatever we have uh, assigned in the internal table is here with this uh, as a pop-up screen okay the pop-up screen okay so now we will play around this part uh, this imp okay so now we will play around this part just change this okay now as you can see uh, screen from start as a 10 uh, I will open one more screen okay now I'm just putting over here 15 I will put here 20 okay then we will check what will happen okay and after that I will if execute and if I will okay as you can see uh, here our the position has changed of this pop over ALB screen okay from here to here okay now we will uh, just as a 30 okay again activate take activate and if I execute as you can see again the position of this particular pop up has changed okay so now we will see the second okay so now again we will revert it to the 10 okay and start line we will that's a 10 uh, sorry here as a 15 okay now if i activate okay here as you can see the pop-up has changed the pop-up screen has changed once again okay so okay okay uh, now again we will revert it to 5 and we will change this size end column okay is end column as a we will write as a 50 now activate if i run see as you can see the size of this particular pop-up message has uh, has been reduces has releases from 100 to 15 okay again okay now again i will put, uh, revert it to 100 and here i will put it as a uh, 50 now okay x activate and if i will is good as you can see the pop-up message has changed once again so okay so here i will again revert it to a 10 okay i will activate okay so now uh, you can see here i allow no selection is equal to x okay so what does it mean okay so let's suppose i will pass it as a blank here activate and save okay and if i will execute okay here is a pop-up and if i will click on here okay enter it will uh, give me error message as a position the cursor on the line in the list okay so what does it mean like you just need to uh, uh, every time you just need to select here and after that click okay then it will direct to the next uh, next uh, line of code okay so that like to avoid this thing we have just pass as x here now if i will execute now see i am not selecting anything and i'm if i will directly click over here it will navigate us to the previous screen or the whatever the uh, the next line of 
code okay so this was all about the how you can display the lb data as a pop-up screen so not only this uh, not only this functionality help you to display the data of the lb screen uh, display the data of the lb table but also you can use this technique to do in order to display the uh, pop-up message okay using the uh, as i have already discussed with you like as you can you using the traffic light uh, message id message number and uh, message description okay you have to apply the same thing for to do in order to display the message pop-up message as well your friend uh, for, uh, as you can say if you if you if you want for the practice purpose if you need this code this code for to check this functionality from your end so you may also visit to my website the link is also given the description the website i have shown i have in the third you as you can see here i have, give, I have just copy and pasted the code over here also so you can use this for copy this code and, and put it in your SAP system so that and uh, you can test uh, test this code uh, so that you will get the idea how you can achieve this functionality okay for your future references as well okay I hope friend you like this video if you like this video then please hit the like button below if you have any doubt then write me in the comment section below and if you uh, want to learn more about SAP ABAP then you may visit to my website the link is also given in the description that is www.learnsabapp.com and if please subscribe to my channel to get to get notified about my next upcoming video so friends bye this time to signing out